Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of the Gailey Reports. Today, we continue to talk about organic traffic dashboards. And uh, yeah, we will talk about Google Analytics 4. In previous video, videos, because I had two already, on the first video, we connected Google Analytics and Google Search Console to our dashboard and added filters. On the second video, we observed Universal Analytics account data metric and dimensions. And uh, now we talk how our, our metrics will change if you use G4. Actually, previous video was super long and I tried to make it shorter. And I already copied, okay, this page we created on the first, during the first videos. Uh, so we created some KPIs, uh, time series chart, and uh, observed organic traffic popular pages and uh, pages by month. I copied this page, like page, duplicate, rename it to ACO UA, uh, a new page called J4. I changed title here, and I already connected J4 account for this part, for KPIs section. Uh, you can notice that I use completely different metrics. What's the reason? Universal analytics based on sessions and metrics that we ha can have here, it is bonus rate, average session duration, page by session, and uh, conversions. In J4, we have different, se uh, different metrics and dimensions that we have in our disposal. And J4 based on users' data, users' and events' data. And uh, we have to change our KPIs uh, updated for G4. What I selected? I selected here sessions. We can use users. Here, actually, it, what do you prefer? I think when we observe very observed organic traffic, traffic, I don't know, maybe I am a bit old <laughs> in this, but I consider it more about sessions because one user could use organic traffic, next time the same user can use like social media or PPC or something else. So for me, when we create dashboard for organic traffic, I prefer to use sessions here instead of users, but whatever. Then I, uh, yeah, you see data source G4, metric session. If you scroll down, you can see that I added filters that we created on the first video, J4 organic. Then I use engaged sessions. Uh, then I use engaged rate. Engaged rate is 22 divided by 36. It means uh, engaged session divided by sessions. We have engaged rate. Um, we have here more, actually we have here 36 instead of 28 sessions. I don't understand why for now, probably our filter works a bit different on a bit different way. Or oh, J4 and uh, universal analytics count organic a bit different, so they calculated them, some users count here for organic and universal count them for as a director, I don't know. So it's something that we should go deeper and investigate, actually. So maybe I will do it later, but not for during this video, for sure. Then I count sessions per user. Here we can understand that um, users don't visit us only once. Uh, they come back for our website. Then I count event. Yeah. Actually, I would like, I prefer to use here conversions, but uh, I didn't set up conversions for my G4 account yet. So yeah, I prefer to use conversions or you can use uh, exact conversions. So you, you know that you want to count forms and all transactions. So you can change event count for other amount. Uh, for now, I just use event all events 
without any, without any specification. Um, it is not correct. I don't do it for client. I try to I try to not do it for my clients, but for study case, I think it's fine. And when I count events per session, oh, it could be converted conversion rate. If I have here transaction, I would use your conversion rate. So conversion divided by transaction. Here, events per session. Um, blends, I can I created a new blend here. Let's check it. Uh, G4, G4. Left table without filters, right table with organic filter. And here uh, I merge, the merge two tables by date. Uh, and I use sessions, engage sessions, total users, and event count. Same logic as we discussed with universal analytics. And here, organic, same stuff. Uh, formulas, same logic as for universal analytics. We divide uh, organic by all sessions. And uh, same for all these things. So you can talk the previous video to see formulas and uh, like the full, the long video all about that. But same logic. I just change G uh, universal analytics to G4 and change metrics. And we can see that um, from this point, from G4 point of view, we have 16% of all conversions for organic. For universal analytics, we had 14. Yeah, definitely some conversion, some sessions track. Yeah. Here, as organic and universal count them like something else. Uh, engage session, we have, uh, it's interesting things. You see, we have six uh, organic sessions is 16% of all sessions, but engaged sessions is 20%. So engaged rate for organic traffic is higher than for all traffic data. It means that we are doing well. And if I am ACO manager, I should say that, yeah, I bring really good traffic on your website because it's converted better than um, your main traffic, your other's channel. And here we can see different in conversion rate. Sessions per user a bit better, uh, but not too much. Event count, uh, we have 19% of all events and uh, events per session a bit better for organic traffic than for all traffic. So this is how to read this information. Uh, next, um, next chart I didn't change, so we can change it together. Uh, I click here, change universal to J4. We see nothing. Because, uh, yeah, we have to change source to session source. And here we see. But here we have different options. Uh, okay, date, session, source, sessions, and uh, we need to add a filter. Good. Uh, you see here, tech assistant. So this is a um, Google Tech Manager traffic. And I think this is uh, why we do have difference because uh, and search Google com, I don't know why it's separate here. Uh, in the Universal Analytics, we have only Google, Bing, and Baidu, and he, and uh, Tag Assistant count for in Universal Analytics count Tag Assistant as a referral traffic, and G4 counted is a search traffic. So this is a difference, and uh, this one as well. So I don't understand why it's it it is here. It should be together with Google just it actually, and. Um, And important moment when you set up Google Analytics account, uh, why do we use some, we should use filters. And usually I filter this tech assistant, uh, some payment platforms, uh, so on some uh, 
website that you don't want to see in your real data, we filter it on a Google Analytics level. We use filter. I use filters on Google Analytics level. Uh, this is important. Yeah. And do you can see that my Google Analytics, my G4 is not ready to use actually. So I create this dashboard and I can see, okay, I don't have this filter, so I should go to G4 and uh, use filter to do not show this data in, in the dashboard. But what I can do actually here, uh, the assistant, I can add a filter, create a filter, exclude, I can do it on this level as well, exclude Google Tech Manager. Uh, source, session source, exclude, um, contains tech assist. I think it's not safe. Okay, I excluded this traffic. And I can exclude, I can actually, I can exclude it on this level. Uh, include and exclude source contains tag assist. I can use this stuff in one filter to apply this data for all charts. Okay, you see we have three sessions more, and probably we have some sessions here. <laughs> um, we can update it as well, if you want. Mm, but, okay. We updated our organic traffic field. Uh, so this is our time series chart with sessions. And then we have organic traffic popular pages. Let's update this table for G4 as well. Set up, change data source to G4. Page title we have, it's already not bad, uh, fit to data. Uh, then uh, we should add our super filter, G4 organic filter. And uh, here we can use the same metrics as we use here, or if you need inspiration, you go to G4 account, you go to some dashboard to see some traffic acquisition dashboard and see what what do we have here. We have user session, engage sessions, average engagement time per session. Yeah, could be we use something like this. Users, mm, active users, for example. Uh, Average purchase history time. Do we have something? Duration. Looks like we don't have nothing about timing here. And this I don't like. It means that in web interface in G4 we have more metrics and dimensions than we have in API. In the API, it's really not nice. But I think here really we don't have nothing about timing. View events, item, item, new users, uh, sessions per users, revenue, transactions. Yeah, this is weird in views. Yeah, but yeah, we have here time per session and uh, via API we don't have. Hope Google will, will fix it and they will hope they will update um, API connectors because actually, yeah, we don't have too much options here, unfortunately. And uh, this is why I still continue to use universal analytics. But we have several months to me when Google will close UA, so hope they will update G4 that we can use it in a normal way. Okay, engage session, engage rate, uh, active users, okay, engage session, engaged, engaged rate, sessions per user, sessions per user, um, event, count, 
uh, event count per user. ENJ4 looks more interesting for me, but yeah, we have to have to work with this as well. Um, I want to make it smaller. And uh, you can see data page by page. Page by page. Fine. You can see my popular pages here. Data is different from universal analytics. But we have what we have. Uh, okay, and uh, the last table will be easy to change. I change it because we have data here. We have fields that we need here by title, uh, sessions, add filter, J organic, something is wrong here. Uh, okay, date. title date and date I want to change to month let's see mm -hmm. okay in this case let's try to do this one date and uh, change uh, type date from two year months Uh, okay, good to be here. So pivot table, it's easier, was easier to change. I just resize columns. They don't want to be resized, unfortunately. A bit, okay. Um, I think that is it, we changed our Google Analytics to J4 and I copied all charts for J4. Still missing queries, dashboard and um, device breakdown and this data we will take from Google Search Console in the next video. So let me know what do you think about it. Uh, which metrics do you prefer to use for organic traffic? Maybe you disagree with my selection of metrics. Let me know. And um, see you soon. Bye-bye.